And, and of course, the, the divisions could look different, the pods, whatever it turns out to be. But just to give an idea, think about everybody that Florida State currently plays in the Atlantic Division other than Clemson. I don't think anybody gets overly excited about Louisville, Wake Forest, Boston College, Syracuse, and North Carolina State. I, I did like going to Boston College a couple times. Okay. It's nice, you know, get some clam chowder or something. You know. Compared to, let's say, Florida State, it's placed in the Big Ten Eastern Division. Right. Ohio State, Michigan State, Michigan State. Can you imagine Ohio State coming to Tallahassee? Can you imagine Michigan coming to Tallahassee? Penn State coming to right. Tallahassee? And then – whatever two Western division games you get that particular year, a Wisconsin coming to Tallahassee or I, it, it's just, it's such a better schedule. It would be put together if you do it a lot of the same ways the ACC d- did it. So let's say you have it where Florida state and Miami go to the, to the big 10 East. So your division then would be, and it works out, let's say Purdue moves from the West to the East, Notre Dame and Stanford go to the West. Your Eastern division would be Florida state, Miami, Ohio state, Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State, Rutgers, Maryland, Indiana, and Purdue. Okay, so if you're Florida State, you get to play, let's say, one year Ohio State home, next year Michigan home. One year Penn State home, next year Michigan State home. You still get to go to Rutgers, which is the New York metropolitan area, so you still get your Northeast uh, exposure there on that one. You get your Maryland exposure, the D.C. area. And, and a, a big another big scenario. So one year you go to New York, next year you go to DC, and then with all due respect, you have Indiana and Purdue, who would be kind of the lower point at that point. But that's still very good. Then you're put with one team. You have a permanent opponent from from the West. So then you could possibly, if you're the Big Ten, you schedule Notre Dame and Miami as permanent foes from the other division, and you take all their money because Notre Dame Miami would sell out South Bend and, and Miami Gardens in a heartbeat. Who do you put Florida State with? Nebraska? Okay. Let's play Nebraska every single year. Get those old Fiesta Bowl, old Orange Bowl games that we played in the in the 80s and 90s. Get those some of those games back there. And then let's say you're playing Notre Dame. Or excuse me, let's say you're playing one year you play Nebraska and Notre Dame. Next year you play Nebraska and UCLA. Next year you play Nebraska and Wisconsin. To me, that is a, a much better schedule. And I think another thing we talk about, look at what the Big Ten is doing recruiting. The Big Ten is not afraid to come to recruit Florida anymore. The top player in South Florida, wide receiver from American Heritage, I believe he's the number four player in the entire state of Florida, is, is committed to Ohio State. They are not afraid to come down here and recruit anymore. The fertile recruiting ground of Florida, Michigan would set up shop down here. Penn State would set up shop down here. It opens up the Florida State, Miami to be able to go recruit to the Midwest, get those big uglies from Ohio, get those big uglies from Michigan. The opportunities are there. And I feel like it would be good for Florida State and Miami to get out and expand. And academically, it will do nothing but make both schools much better. Yeah, uh, the conversation we both had with Tony um, pretty much placed Florida State and Miami right in the middle of the Big Ten, meaning that they would not be dragging down the Big Ten academically. They would be a very solid middle schools in the Big Ten. And to your last point, that would only improve Miami and Florida State status academically. Yeah, I think if Florida State joins, and I, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but I will say it once again, if Florida State joins the Big Ten within just just – Liberally on my numbers, within 10 years, Florida State becomes the top public institution in the state of Florida. And by the default, I think they'd be the top institution, slightly over Miami. I think both Florida State and Miami would jump the University of Florida as far as being the academic flagship universities of the state. Because the SEC doesn't share the same resources. The SEC has great academic schools. Vanderbilt is a great academic school. Georgia is a great academic school. To a certain extent, in some parts, Old Miss is a very good academic school. But as a whole, they don't share the way the Big Ten does. 